This is my tutorial on VideoPav Video Editor and first I just wanted to show you how to be able to download this free software. All I did was go up to the Google bar and type in VideoPav Video Editor and searched and got this website. This is the home page for the NCH software and as you can see when you scroll down it will take you through everything you can do with this software and pretty much highlights the main points. You can click on this link right here to download the software for Windows or you can click over here to the right if you have a Mac and I've already downloaded this so I'm just gonna minimize this. I included the icon on my desktop for easy access so I'll just open this up this is what VideoPad looks like when you first come into it. Obviously there's no clips, there's no pictures or anything. So if you need some extra help before you get started, you can always go up to the help button and it'll bring down a drop down menu and you can click on video tutorials and it will take you back to the NCH software website where it will show you how to add clips to your sequence and audio and overlay tracks and all of that stuff. So to get started, I'm just going to go up here and click the top left button, Add Media. And clicking on this will open up your personal library on your computer. So you can do videos or pictures or anything on this editor. So I'm just going to do pictures for the first thing. And opening this into the software isn't going to add it to your sequence. As you can still see, the sequence is blank. It's just bringing it to a drop now menu of possible options you can use for your video. And you can continue adding media until you've gotten everything that you wanted. So I'll just stick with these two pictures. You can always go and click on it over in the drop down menu and it'll give you the preview of it. You can change the duration in seconds of the video. So I'll just drop that one down to two, and once again you can see it's still not in the sequence, and in order to get it down there, all you need to do is click on the green down arrow button, and it will drop it down. As you can see, it's two seconds long. You can also um, add the second photo, do the same thing, I'll leave that one at three, and down. And clicking on another clip will bring up this menu where you can choose to put the video wherever you want. You can put it at the sliders position, which is this red line that goes across. You can put it at the beginning or the end. And I'll put this one at the end. And it shows up. So anything you can do, you can click on this. Let's say we want to add like a title page. You can go up here to the top and click on insert blank. You can do black, white, or any custom color. I'll do, say, teal. And once again, you can choose where to put it. I'm going to put it at the beginning this time. Click OK. And the automatic time length is three seconds once again. And you can click on this and shorten or lengthen it, however you want to do that. You can click on this, and you're probably wondering what you can do with the blank screen. You can add an overlay track, which is right here under the video track before audio, and you can add text. So we'll say this is my introductory tutorial, and we'll click OK. And you can see where it's put this text right under the, the preview. And at any time you can go up here to the top right and hit the preview sequence and you can see what it does. And you might say that that's kind of boring because it's not moving anything. You can always click on this down at the bottom and you can change the font, bold, any of that stuff. You can change the size or make it a little bit smaller. And you can choose the scroll. I'll do bottom to top for this one. And you can preview it once again. You can add any kind of text you want. And we'll say I'll add another blank for the end. We'll just do this one black. So on this, I'll add another overlay track to say the end. That's going to add that there. Now this is only putting it for the amount of time that you've added your blank screen. 
you can click on this and change the duration at any point. You can make it as long or as short as you want. And once again, you can go up to the top and hit preview. I chose not to select a skull for that one, and that's fine. You're probably thinking that's very quiet. Um, you can go down here to the audio tracks, and you can click on any of these to add sound, or you can add your own narrations. So all you do for that is click on Narrate. It will bring up this pop-up menu. And you just need to select, using this red bar, where you want your audio to start. So we'll just do it at the very beginning. And when you want to record, you just have to hit the red record button. It will load it to the place where you put it in your sequence and you can just hit close and hit preview once again. This is my introductory tutorial and you can once again make this as long as or as short as you want. I'm choosing to just make it the length of that and that is the basics of VideoPad Video Editor.